continue our series, Small But Strong, about local kids battling medical odds and the community helping them in their fight. According to the CDC, 1% of all babies born in the U.S. each year, about 40,000, are affected by congenital heart defects, and the number is increasing. North Kingstown's Trayvon Robinson is one of those kids. He was born with one of the rarest defects, but you'd never know it. He's not slowing down, and neither are his parents when it comes to raising money and awareness to help others just like him. This is Trayvon's story. There they are. There they are. Oh, we love the swings, huh? Curls for days. The youngest of Kayla and Josh Robinson's three kids is the one they all look up to. Ooh. <laughs> he's amazing. Yeah. He's our hero. He's the kids. They say he's their hero. He's only 18 months old, but his show of strength started just five days into his life on this earth. Our whole world crashed in a matter of an hour. A doctor appointment for what they thought was a heart murmur landed them in an ambulance <laughs> in a race to save Trayvon's life. And then we had to rush to Boston and learn everything within 48 hours that he'd have to have this life saving surgery or he wouldn't survive. I sat in the front and just had my C-section, you know, five days ago. What's going through your head? Oh, I was crying and crying and crying. I just couldn't, I didn't know if he'd survive. Never knew a kid to have open heart surgery that little. While most people are born with two ventricles, Trayvon only had one. He was also missing a main heart valve and had other complications. <laughs> that open heart surgery is one of two Trayvon's undergone so far with one more to go. This kid, he just rocks right through it. Open heart surgery, no problem. He's like, why do I have to hold hands? I could do it by myself. For mom and dad, it's not so easy. A cold isn't just a cold. A cold could go to his heart. We get nervous with a cold, but I get scared because some things can end him up in the hospital. A fear made even more real by the loss of a close friend. We lost a friend in February, his little first friend to congenital heart disease. So it's a tough journey still. How old was that friend? Um, she was just a year old. That's got to hit home. Yep. She had turned one that December. It hit home close because uh, her mom, we became best friends. We're the closest through this journey. So it kind of reminds you that you're never really in the clear. Yep, it can happen real quick. Say hi. This month, they're walking for Hannah and every other child born with a heart defect. The more money we raise, the more CHD research, the more kids are going to live. There's going to be better treatments. Hopefully, later down the line, we'll find a cure. Oh, is that fun? The little boy with the curls, their inspiration for every step because he's small but strong. And the Robinson family is walking in the Keep the Beat Walk in Danvers, Mass. On June 23rd, for more information on the walk and to help them raise money, just head to our website, WPRI.com.